Suck my father's penis. Suck my father's penis. You got it going earlier. I can't remember how it went, but it's the Mario going into a cave music. Suck my father's penis. Sucking on his dick and his asshole until he comes in my mouth and my ass. Yeah, it was good, man. When we hit it, we had lightning in the motherfucking bottle. Yeah, people don't people don't know that we're constant. We're singer songwriters. I'm like John Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a James Taylor. My dick hurts. Yeah, dude, you keep rubbing your cock. It hurts. In a in a suggestive but medical way. Yeah. Like I can clearly see the outline of your cock every time you do it. Yeah. <laughs> but you're in pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to see the outline, but just cuz it's so small. Well, okay. It's too black for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's like a fun character. Like the black guy with like the, the oh, really small black. dick, oh. and the girl's like, "I can't feel it." He's like, "Maybe it's too dark." <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> you can't see. It's too dark. Yeah. <laughs> too dark. You uh, fucking white bitch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's no, how that fits small. okay. Is <laughs> no, <laughs> really <laughs> small. He's fucking a white lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it okay to make that joke. <laughs> Suck my father's penis. Yeah, fucking. Uh, you know, someone got mad. They posted that Ty Bo clip, and they're like, "Oh, uh, here's the co- host of Come Town doing AAVE for three minutes." They're like, "This is literally a minstrel show. Why That's, can't we get socialists to disavow this?" And it's like, they think that retarded people. Yeah, they think retarded are people black. are black. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Guess what, motherfuckers? You're the offensive ones. Yeah, we're we're regular yep. level offensive, talking like retarded people. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, fine. But the fact that you think, well, how about you people. combine the two of them? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> great, great. <laughs> yeah. That's pimp, yeah. <laughs> a pimp named Cookies. <laughs> That's me. I'm a pimp named Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating cookies. <laughs> I got Down syndrome, but that don't stop me from getting Down syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, uh, dude. A pin and a Well, cookie. so think. <laughs> <laughs> They're the little Keebler ones, too, yeah, with the M&S. It's D-D-O-W-N-S. The double D stands for an extra dose of damn chromosomes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so thank you to uh, at Stalin... Didn't do anything yeah, wrong yeah, yeah. for a great suggestion. <laughs> Black retard <laughs> character. Thank you, thank you for comedy professor guy with uh, statue in his avatar. <laughs> 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 this is the, that's how you know somebody's going to be chill as shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, a picture of some young random. young Lennon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking nerds. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see? Uh, Paul McCartney was marching in that march for John Lennon. Oh, because he got he's a victim of gun got, violence? He got he got shot. Well, maybe John Lennon shouldn't have said that he was bigger than Jesus. I mean, I'm mm. mm-hmm. you know, I've never ever had a problem with John Lennon being murdered. <laughs> 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 I mean he deserved it one hundred percent. Yeah, he disrespected <laughs> I mean, our Lord him, and dude, Savior. The hubris of that no, I mean obviously Jesus isn't real. But yeah, to yeah, say yeah. that you're more famous than Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just you, know, you should be murdered. Yeah, for that, I mean, no one's allowed gay. to be that yeah. fucking arrogant. <laughs> I mean, also, you're not right. You think you're like anybody that think anybody that thinks they're bigger. Th- first, anybody that thinks they're Jesus should be killed. Uh-huh. Probably mm-hmm. they for think sure, they're just Messiah in case. or something. Yeah, just, just in case. <laughs> mm-hmm. But to be some lunatic that's like, well, if a submarine was a different color, and then you think you're a fucking hey, god, man, hey, man. Ringo Actually, wrote that, was that a Ringo one. Song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> that was the one time There's they the, let Ringo yeah. write Maybe a song. Maybe they should have killed Ringo. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. He's still alive. You know, they're vegan. Yeah, I saw that. There's yeah. like a PETA tweet that yeah. the two Beatles that are alive are vegan. Mm-hmm. As if uh, John Lennon got shot because he ate. What happened to George Harrison? A guy shot him too? He got cancer. Oh, did he? I think, yeah. Didn't some guy break into his house or something? I, th- I remember this from a family guy. Like thing. That, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what actually happened, but there was like a joke on Family Guy that implied it. Yeah, he was, uh, he was the spiritual one. Mm-hmm. He was really into Hare Krishna or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys uh, watching that Netflix about thing? Bingo star and he's a dog. Oh, <laughs> no, that's good. he's like we all live out of our Yeah, <laughs> and he's retarded. And guess yeah. what? Is there anybody that says that <laughs> Come Town doesn't do any bits for children? <laughs> 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 and you know what's great? It's like, I'll probably be able to transition into children's entertainment. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, after the Dan Schneider thing, you know, I mean, it's yeah, like. 
It's oh, really yeah. as long as you don't fuck free Dan. The kids. Congrats, Nick. <laughs> yeah, free Dan. Free Mama Schneider. Schneider. <laughs> he got seven free million him. dollars. <laughs> he got seven million dollars to leave Nickelodeon. Jesus Christ! Oh, so he got, he got a, a, gold, rape, a, a gold child rape bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! That guy is just. I mean, he's the goat. It's like yeah. you. Like, imagine what a fat Jewish child molester looks like. Yeah. Like, this is exactly... I don't think he's Jewish. Schneider? Schneider? Yeah, that's just German. Yeah, it really? could be. It could be either or. Yeah, it's like how Mayer isn't always... Mm-hmm. You know? Or it's Meyer, not. sorry. Meyer isn't always Jewish. Mm-hmm. It, well, either way, he looks horrible and disgusting. And... Let's just say he's Jewish. I'll, I'll give. Yeah, I'll, yeah, let you, yeah. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you say. I mean, that. culturally, yes. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, 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 he controls the entertainment industry and he rapes children. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> the man himself is not Jewish by chance. Yeah, he doesn't need a fucking yarmulke when he's got <laughs> yeah, those two. Um, well, congrats, Nick. You did yeah, it. You did it, man. The, that three week period where you didn't sleep, it was worth it. <laughs> Somebody stabbed Corey Feldman in his car. Well, yesterday. then that was your fault too. I'm but. telling you, man. They're, like it's it's Pizzagate is real. You think Feldman's a rapist too? No, he was a victim. No, he was a victim, but he, I'm sure he also diddled. Yeah, yeah. You got to get a taste his mind works. off a it. Taste of the return to the scene of the crime. That's the cycle know? of violence. Yeah, sex violence. A history of violence. Yeah, I, which I need to rewatch. I want to watch it again too with Nigo Mortensen. Yeah, <laughs> the black and black. <laughs> <Nigo>. <laughs> I re- I actually rewatched it. It was good. It's sick. I talked. Yeah. We talked about it. He David Cronenberg. He's eating pussy big time in it. That's mm-hmm. what I like. Yeah, he rapes his wife. No, he does not. Well, sort of. Yeah, it's weird. And, but she's into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so. how, that's usually how sex for me goes. Yeah, <laughs> you catch him, you know, and they don't like it at first. Like a yeah. fish. Like a fish, yeah, uh, flopping around, and they accept their fate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get ready to be <laughs> fucking grilled that evening. Yeah. And they're like, oh, let's make the best of this. I was saying on the stage the other night, it's like, I feel like I'm sort of like a groundhog because of all the Me Too shit. I'm like a groundhog, like just poking his head out of the ground, like <laughs> rape joke. <You> know? <laughs> <laughs> Go back in, maybe. You know? yeah. <laughs> See what I can get away with yeah, in my yeah, shadow. Yeah. <laughs> like Go back into your hole. Rapes mm-hmm. a tiny Phil. Yeah. That's who you are, dude. Sucks a, sucks a tiny Phil. Sucks a tiny prick. Something like that. Do you remember that video of the groundhog biting that mare in the ear? Yeah. That was a great video. Yeah, didn't he cool. toss that guy? And didn't that didn't they kill the groundhog for that? Pugs the Tawny Phil? They <laughs> killed the groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor just took a gun out. <laughs> I was like, you don't fucking bite me, motherfucker. And <laughs> just shot him point blank. <laughs> Smashed his head in with a little ball peen hand. I think it's fucked up that there's a Staten Island Chuck and he doesn't get more 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 pub. What, who's what is that? Staten Island Chuck is a groundhog. Oh, he also does the like shadow a minor thing. League, yeah, minor league groundhog. Oh, a Staten Island version. Yeah, Staten Island. That's Chuck. cool. Did, did you guys know that? What? There's a minor league. Staten groundhog. Island Chuck is a is a competitor to Puxatawney Phil. Really? Yeah. yeah. But he's no a, one hears about. He's it. a that, general that is, That's the rape joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it already exists. Yeah, if he says the n word, then there's six more months of winter, mm-hmm. or something. That sounds good. Yeah. I I like uh I like a nice Staten Island uh rodent. Mm-hmm. How about you know? spats in Island. Everybody's got spats. Dude, I was a, What's they, spats? They're like a dumb type of shoe from the 20s. Oh. Uh, I don't know that. You know I those like know. shoes that are like white on top. Like a bowling shoe? Here, hold on. No, it might like be like creepers. It might be a Is thing that what you're talking about. No, it might be a thing that goes over like a regular shoe. Mhm. <laughs> Spit. Hold on. Like a shoe guard? No, I'm just going to pull them up because you'll recognize them immediately. Those are spats. Oh, like yeah. The, those. Like the Donald Duck I shoes. thought those were creepers. Um, Isn't that what, like, uh, rockabilly people wear? No. no they, yeah, they wear creepers, but those are, like, platform. But they're, like, platform versions of that. Yeah, they're a little different. Hmm. Well, anyways, it, it's a cloth gaiter that goes over the top of the Interesting. shoe. Interesting. You know what kind of arcane but, footwear I like is the... I was at the I was at the stand and Aaron oh, Aaron nice Berg's thing. like uh, Aaron was like, uh, you think I could pull off Tim's? And it's like, yeah, everyone can wear Tim's. Yeah, they you know, they're boots. fine. He's like, huh, really? And we're like, yeah. And then he like shows his phone and he's like, got they're like spats Tim's. I'm like, well, no, not those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, 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 you can't yeah, yeah, go yeah. around <laughs> looking like goofy. Yeah, you think I can pull off? Uh, you think I pull off a suit? And it's like, yeah, sure. And he's just like, is the ass is cut out of the suit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's the Riddler suit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it seems nice. Ashless chaps seem like they would be very 
breathable, you know? By the way, I bought I bought overalls. Assless, assless, assless overalls. overalls. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, not assless, just a How little. How about over. overballs? <laughs> 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 I mean, overalls are technically overballs. Overballs. No, I, I like the idea yeah. that overballs. You just think just... overalls are called overballs? And people are like, why are you calling them? It's because it goes over your balls. <laughs> yeah. They're like, yeah, but it goes over everything. No, I want a little. They're like, I... no, you can see my arms, motherfucker. <laughs> Stupid true. idiot. That's true. It's not overall. It's definitely over balls. They're more over balls than they yeah. are overalls. That's true. They're completely over balls. Yeah. And that's I, the show. That's but the I like, bit that we get. <laughs> no, I like Good the night. idea that it's a little overall and your cock is out where the neck is, where yeah. the head is. It just mm-hmm. covers, it just covers balls. your balls. Yeah. That's cool. Like a nice little hammock. Yeah. For yeah, the balls. yeah. 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 I like that. That'd be what cool. What kind of overalls? Or actually, you get? your balls are coming out of the bottom like feet. Did you get seersucker overalls? No. Or like denim? How do you fuck. Like Oshkosh Bagosh, like train conductor. Yeah, like baby overalls? Yeah, that's what I want. No, I didn't, but I should. I saw a picture of Andre 3000 wearing those, and I was like, wow, that's, that's yeah. cool now. Seersucker overalls? Yeah. I used to have them as a baby. Yeah, me too. I got a cute-ass picture of me in those, and then also in a little sailor outfit. Yeah, I was I was like draped in Oshkosh Bagosh. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was the shit, dude. Yeah. I remember that was the first brand I wanted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that was the first brand I that knew. Shit it was like dope. cool-ass babies, because they would... Because they would uh, advertise on, like, Saturday morning cartoons and shit. Apparently, I used to throw tantrums when we were at the mall to go to Jim Barry. Yeah, they, that makes sense. They had a ball pit. <laughs> and so I wanted to play in the ball pit. Mm. Um, yeah. You're very tantrum. You get to give off tantrum vibes. I wasn't tantrum. I was a runner, actually. Yeah, you were a tip. I would run away in public. Coward. And You're like, I want to no. play with the girl doll. <laughs> Your dad's like, not again. <laughs> You've had your two hours today to play with the girl <laughs> toys. Please, just for five seconds, play with the truck. Yeah, you like it's... touch it and start crying. <laughs> <laughs> like it feels so wrong. <laughs> I just want to shove the, the easy bake oven into my pussy. You don't have it's a pussy. Your ass. For the last time, yeah. it's your ass. <laughs> <laughs> call it your asshole. <laughs> As a three-year-old, Adam <laughs> called his ass his pussy. <laughs> it's my boy pussy. My boy putty. I have to go poo-poo out of my putty, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to push a, a, a dick out of my A shit pussy. dick out of my pussy, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> the cold turds. <laughs> You it's so <laughs> awesome they're called toads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hell that's yeah, what happened dude. to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That was your life at the Jimboree. <laughs> I never stepped foot in a damn Jimboree. I don't even know what a Jimboree is. It was a kid's An Oshkosh Kabosh Kabosh competitor. Gosh, yeah. If they had, but they had like a play place mm-hmm. in it, so it was like yeah. fun. You got a play place in you. Mm-hmm. What's that? Your I don't heart. get it. My what? Your heart and your mind. <laughs> <laughs> the imagination in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Beautiful imagination. I can be anywhere I want. You got a play place every time you open a book, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got a PlayStation. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. What's that? I don't need a fucking your dick and balls. Literally a PlayStation. Oh, no, yeah. it's cool. a PlayStation Four. I yeah. have a GameCube. I have those ads for PlayStation Two that was like the PlayStation Nine. It was like a ball, like some it was like gelatin ball that went into your skin. Yeah, I remember that. No, yeah. I don't remember. I that. remember thinking that was such a cool ad. Yeah, damn. When so like, PS Two was coming out, they had like this ad for the PlayStation Nine. Oh, like in the way. In yeah, the future. it was like in the future. Yeah, and it's just like some ball that you hold and it like transports you. Into and it's it. like some VR shit. Yeah, yeah. and then there's only been two more PlayStation <laughs> since then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and God. they look exactly the same. They I look exactly the same. <laughs> the graphics are a little bit better. Yeah, and like they cost. It, the difference is now it costs like a thousand dollars. Right, right, right. To get all the shit. Yeah. Although I gotta say, man, I played a little VR? Vice City. Oh. Recently, it looks like shit compared to yeah, the new of course one, to the new one. Yeah, but was that PS One? Did you know it was PS Two? That was play PS2. The, Did you play the Vice City HD like re release? No, the, the fuck. Down- no, it looks just as bad. Oh damn! But you could download it on the PlayStation Store. Oh yeah, that's probably what I have then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks like shit. Yeah, I got the Bioshock HD remake. It looks okay. Yeah, but I just remember how fucking much my cock got blown out when I saw how the strippers. Madden- how good oh, Madden no. looked on PS2. Yeah. Shit was wild, dude. That was a wild time. Yeah, I thought it was incredible. But that's the biggest jump we've made video game-wise, from PS1 to PS2. 
and from like N sixty four to yeah. GameCube. PS one yeah. was is, like as as the hardware gets older, the developers get better at like making things look better. Uh huh. Yeah. So games will continue to look better on like PlayStation four. So by the time they like they are done with PlayStation four, it'll probably look pretty si- sick. What about Dolphin? Remember, there's something always everyone kept saying Dolphin, something yeah, called yeah, yeah. Gal- Dolphin was going to come I think out. I turned into the Wii. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, Nintendo Dolphin. Or maybe or it was the GameCube. Everyone was waiting for fucking Nintendo to come drop the big yeah. nuts. Because they had us as children and then just let Xbox and fucking PS take over. Did dude. Switch yeah. do well? Has it done well? I think so. I don't want to play that shit, though, because it's... I don't know. You could do it on the train, though. You can, like, take it with you. I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't know. Something about it doesn't look Amber fun has me. one. It looks too big. Nah, yeah, it's... Uh, it's the, she plays I mean? it portable, but, like... You can plug it into the TV. You can get one of those uh, Supreme uh, cross body bags. The thing is, it's be like a real hype video piece, games. Switch video games it. got good nice. enough where it's like I only need one video game. Yeah, yeah. I, like when I played Modern Warfare Two, it was like I don't need to play anything else, and I would just sit there playing Modern uh-huh. Warfare Two all day long for like seven well, hours. Well, because you can play online. Yeah, yeah. Um, Battlefields like that, and I play Gran Turismo like a lot. Yeah, you got that little wheel, dude. You you got the wheel it f- out. It fucks up my shoulder. <laughs> They're eight hundred dollar yeah. wheel. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> well, I have I have like already like latent shoulder issues, mm. but using that wheel makes it worse. It Fuck, dude, now you're never gonna be a fucking Formula One driver. I know, man. That's the reason because of my fucking injuries. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm wounded. Fuck, dude. What's what's gonna be your next career after this, dude? This, after this? yeah. If it's not gonna be Nickelodeon Kids Coordinator, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna... <laughs> Dan, literally Dan Schneider. I change my name. I, I demand to be <laughs> my t- job title be Dan Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Mullen, Senior Dan Schneider, yeah. Nickelodeon. <laughs> I'm credited as that on the shows I come up with. Yeah, it's that gonna was... be funny how bad their shows are gonna be now. Nickelodeons are gonna have like a ratings tank because like that guy who fucked all the children still just produced <laughs> hits. Yeah, so he news, was good at it. Yeah. He, was, he, he was very good touch. at his job, yeah. but he, yeah. he had sex with children. So right, right, right. Which they had is to get rid tough... of him. And they think like, well, no, we'll figure it out. And then the next show is about like, it's a girl and she's on Twitter and like, you know, her and her friends are like you're in a band together. Yeah, and it's yeah. like all the same ingredients, but it just doesn't fucking work. <laughs> right. What if that's what makes you a good child actor? Of course. It definitely does because it I makes mean, you more raw, and yeah. that's what you need to be a good yeah, actor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's. I mean, say what you want about Dan Schneider, the man's an artist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know who else fucked weird Rimbo? You know, so true. So, uh, mm-hmm. John Rambo, John yeah, Rambo. John Rambo. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I when he was gunning down the Vietnamese, Dan Schneider I, was the I, guy I, he I, knocked I, up I, that, the that, 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 that French poet that had sex with men and then quit doing poetry at like twenty one. Oh, nice. Oh, Rimbo. that's cool. So Didn't just they all it? have sex with men? Isn't that what you have to do to be a poet? Yeah, you're uh, not a poet yeah. unless you. There's no like straight guy poet except for Bruce Springsteen. He's the only one. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 yeah, that's true. He's the only straight Robert guy. I really don't Frost. fuck with poetry. Poetry's Robert Frost. I, I don't poetry like poetry. Sucks my either. dick. Yeah, I agree. It sucks. Yeah, I give me it's some like, narrative. You know what I'm saying? It's like either yeah. make it a song or make it longer and make it a story. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. You know. And then they have those bullshit poems that are basically narratives, but they just. Put like they put weird hit line enter. breaks. Yeah, they yeah, hit yeah, enter yeah. at random places. It's like okay, that's how not about how about Brahms? And it's like, what's up, bitch? Let me see your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your legit crucial pussy. Who's yeah, that? Who's good. that Instagram girl that people were shitting on a while ago? Rupi Kapoor or something? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like, poopy, 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 <laughs> filthy pussy <laughs> from Smell Very Bad. <laughs> I am from I am from <laughs> smell very bad. My family has come here to do party. Have you guys watched that documentary about that sex cult, that fuck cult? Aren't they all? Aren't all cults? No, kind no it was of like an Indian cult? sex cult that went to Oregon or something, Ooh, and damn. everyone's fucking sucking. Dark ass nipples. Oh, cool. and just, oh they were yeah. Somebody mm-hmm. you can see your nipples in one of them. This yeah. guy named this girl named hell. Sheila. You can yeah. see her dark ass mm-hmm. nips. Uh, but uh, it's just some old ass Indian guy with a long ass beard, and he just fucked. Where my brown wanted. girls at? Mm-hmm. Go off. Yep. <laughs> roll call. <laughs> roll call. Let's Dark get, ass nipple. Roll right. call. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in formation. Show us those Hershey you got dark ass darks. nipples? Yeah. Call in now. <laughs> Hershey kisses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, um, have you guys seen it, though? It's good. No. no. You should watch it so we can talk about it. I love cult shit, though. I love it. I just watched the Louis Theroux Scientology movie. Oh, it's great. I haven't seen that. No. Yeah. Um, I, I tried looking for uh, his like in America series or his his like that series that he Only did. Only in Which one? 
Kubrick? Ten years ago, the one that was like the black nationalists and the bodybuilders. Oh, no, that's uh, Weird Weekends. Weird Weekends? Yeah. Yeah. I think some of them are on Netflix, or they were on Netflix. I went looking for it, and I couldn't find it. The black nationalist one is hilarious. The black nationalist one is the best one. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. And what's his name? Tom Uh, Jones. That's (laughs) the funniest line. (laughs) It's it's like you couldn't write a scene funnier than that. Oh, when he's asking who's black. Who's who's black. black. Yeah, Beethoven. He's black. He's like... Oh, positively black, <laughs> without Beethoven? question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beethoven. And he goes yeah. Cleopatra, and he goes, she looked black, but she was white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she was trifling. Cleopatra was Greek, actually. Thank you very much. She was trifling. Don't take our ugly eight bitches of history, dude. Was she Greek? Yeah, she was. They were, like they yeah. she was married Egypt. to Mark Anthony, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. And then yeah. he married Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Mark Anthony's got some bangers, some secret yeah. bangers. He's one of the Miami no, wait, Heat wasn't, super, She was married to fans. one of the Greeks. She was. Uh, was it Mark Anthony? Yeah, she was. Or Marcus Aurelius, maybe. No, no, know. Mark Anthony. She was Ptolemy. She, she, she played. <laughs> she played him. I think she P-p-p-pol- played Mark Anthony. Did she? Yeah. I In think. what? <laughs> <laughs> no, she was like she In like she or? gave him she gave him the good pussy, and then he got he put the pussy on the pedestal. Mm. And then number and one then mistake. Number yeah. one. Mistake. Nah, you can't be out here feeling anything for these bitches. No yeah. man, I've never had an emotion Special. towards a woman, <laughs> <laughs> especially not these Cleopatra. <laughs> yeah, these Cleopatra. Yep. If, if that bitch got a pyramid, mm-hmm. it's, you better mm-hmm. happens. You then. better nut and <laughs> tip your hat to yeah. mm-hmm. strut right. right out that fucking door, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cleopatra's ugly as shit. Have you seen that? Like uh, IRL. Have you seen that, like, they found, like, her skull or some shit, and she's just, like, a busted-ass motherfucker? Damn, dude. This bitch got an ugly skull. Yeah. Oh. You can, you can tell what a person's face is, I guess. Yeah. Science is truly amazing. Neil deGrasse Tyson, shout out to him. He did it personally. Um, but, yeah, everyone in history that was, like, hot was probably ugly as shit, dude. It just means, like, they didn't smell like sh- They weren't having diarrhea at the time, to- like, constantly. Mm-hmm. That's what made a hot person. Well, the, yeah, they took history. a bath every Yeah, exactly. They, got, they had access to, like, you know... Uh, linen wiping their ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's they true. rubbed oils on their fucking filthy pussies. Um, yeah, I would have smashed though, I'm for sure. I'd still smash, <laughs> for sure, dude. <laughs> Just to say, like, yeah, well, there's something about that power, that yeah, powerful yeah, yeah. pussy. Yeah, exactly. Also, Cleopatra invented kegels. Like I don't know that Ayn Rand. She used to. She used oh, to get yeah. now. Dick. That's a fine bitch. She used to. <laughs> she used to get dick because she was so powerful. At an Atlas fucked. That was the original <laughs> title. Atlas, of Atlas, fucked. Atlas fucked was the original. Yeah, like title. Uh, Atlas smashed. Atlas smashed. <laughs> yeah, Ayn Rand. He put the whole world it's in. About Ayn a guy Rand's that pussy. runs a train. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's like a hook for autistic guys to get into libertarianism? Libertarianism, like that what? she made a train book. That's sort of like a chicken and the egg sort of thing. Yeah. It's oh, is true. it? Is it about trains? It is. Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, there's one about architecture, the Fountainhead. Well, not yeah. about our the guys. They get the give me head fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she was she was like uh, she used to she had like a cult of twenty uh, four year old grad students that she used to keep around, and Just one of the tenets service of, that puss. Mm-hmm. One of the tenets of objectivism or whatever is that there's no such thing as aesthetic beauty. It's all intellectual. Oh beauty. my god! I so wonder why person, she came up. Yeah, with that so one. this so this old ass nasty Russian girl. She looks like Russian you with girl. a wig. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She looks worse. I'm yeah. sorry. I mean, uh, I'll take a lot of comparisons, but I, I won't take that one. Yeah. But yeah, so like Alan Greenspan was one of those guys. R- wait. Yeah, he like ate her pussy. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Alan Greenspan. Yeah, she, she read it. That's the whole thing. Is she got it? She's she learned that she would have to suck dick so good to get her pussy. Eaten. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's the free market. Mm-hmm. Dude. That's objectivism. That's the free market. Dude. Yeah, it's because you want to objectify mm-hmm. something. Yep, yeah, I guess. Object, objectify that <laughs> vulnerable grad student. That well, shouts out to her for figuring out a way to get. No, down no, yeah, yeah. That's, despite looking fucking, yeah, dude, that's horrific. a pimp. That's got to be. That's yeah. got to be the hardest thing in the world to be an ugly woman trying to figure out how to get dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's like, oh, well, women could just fuck whoever they want, and it's like. So, like sort, sort of, of yeah. you know, yeah, it's like a bell curve thing. Yeah, I think. Oh, I saw a guy. Um, because it's like if you're if you're ugly enough that no, you can't just go, you can't just go out and fuck. Cause no, there you are, could. No, there's women like that that are busted enough that it's like they couldn't just go f- like go out and be like somebody fuck me. They could, it but happen. it would be a horrific. It would be man. like a you. No, no not like me. It would. I'm like, very cute. I'm very it. charming. <laughs> and then, and, but. 
but like it's He's not like, like, like I'm whole, sad because I just had sex. That with woman, you. sorry. That, that yeah. woman, that woman doesn't I'm have that woman. That woman doesn't have the option of like just making a bunch of money and being successful and then like fucking. But on top of that, she also doesn't have the option of just raping people, right. which like men which still have that. Yeah. It's like, look, I'm an ugly guy. It's a viable guy. option. It's, it's, on like a table. it's on the table. I'm an ugly guy. You know, it's like mm-hmm. I, making a bunch of money thing to attract women didn't work. It's sure. like. I guess I can hold them down and fuck them. Sure, against sure, sure. Women don't have that choice ever. Right. Well, they could. I mean, Adam could probably be raped by a woman. Yeah, probably. I have, probably. A strong no, woman. No, you haven't, dude. A strong woman could hold you down and suck your cock. I have. Till it gets hard. Yeah. Then slide that big, ugly pussy on top of your little <laughs> ass dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds hot. Your will and you're like, fuck my putty. Yeah. <laughs> shove it's a, like, shove a like, shit dick in my putty. Like someone, takes, <laughs> someone takes like a wet rain jacket <laughs> off and hangs it up backwards on the coat rack. <laughs> 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 Just sounds like gack. I'll be right back. I'm going to get that cereal. What cereal? The, the puffins? Cereal. They don't like you eating. No, don't eat on my thing. dude. On my but I want that cereal. Just eat it. It'll I be want reward. another cup of coffee. Uh, Come Town is brought to you by the Puffins peanut butter cereal. They're so good. They're yeah. really good. And every one you eat goes money to Africa <laughs> or something. It's like Tom's <laughs> shoes. <Yeah. laughs> it helps those bird, those African penguins. Yeah, they force feed those penguins uh, cereal. I saw, <laughs> I saw really a guy for waiting for the G train reading Shrill by Lindy West, mm-hmm. oh, and nice. he was perfect. I yeah. mean, he looked exactly like... He was sexy as just, shit? No, he was just like all fupa and like oh, no yeah. facial hair yes. and like just looked like he... Uh, he just looked like he was about to cry constantly. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Would you? Could you beat him up? Um... Yeah, I think he was strangely large, though. I think he was like 6'6". Six, six. It was weird. So you but saw he looked like yeah. <laughs> yeah. He looked like sort of, you know, in that movie, uh, but Adam will never be able to beat anybody up. <laughs> I could beat someone up. No, you could. Name a, a person you think you could beat up. Uh, Baron Trump? <laughs> <laughs> no, he would beat you up. He's no, tall. he wouldn't, dude. He's tall and he he's had a gross spurt, but yeah, yeah, I could beat him up. No, oh, no, he no, does no. have the strength. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. Okay, I couldn't beat up Baron Trump. And he's, and he's got that 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 f- famous Trump will mm-hmm. to That's never quit. Yeah, he's like 10 years old and like 6'6". Six, six. He would fuck your ass up. He's big. Yeah. My girlfriend has that a crush autistic on him. strength. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you couldn't beat him up. Um, I could beat up, uh, maybe John maybe Leguizamo. Someone. Do you think you'd beat up John Leguizamo? No, no way. No way. Yeah, for sure not. I met him once. You did? Yeah. Oh, what I'm was so it? jealous. On a plane. On a plane? Yeah. I told him that the jerk, the, 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 jer- pest. the pest is my favorite movie. It was on, I was on the way to summer camp on the East coast. And you were like, and he was like, Hey pal, now you're being a pest. No, he was like, I'm trying to sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, put your phone away, please. Uh, I'm just paying attention no, to, um, the, to the porn. The pest. <laughs> are you watching porn I'm during watching the show? Porn on my phone. Wait, wait, wasn't there an episode where you were looking at porn that you wouldn't let me look at? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Actually, can I see that porn, Nick? <laughs> no, no, please. Let me see. Nick, I just want I feel included. Um, All right, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of porn was it? Nothing. I wasn't looking at porn. You're a fucking liar, dude. I'm lying. He was, <laughs> wa- he was looking at Julia doing bicep curls. Dude, I, I, it started off as a joke, but I would, I, I would so fuck Julia. <laughs> yeah. Would you let her at this point? You'd let her sit on your face. Of course. Yeah. You'd let, you'd let her uh, do pull ups. You sit, here's what, ha- here's what Nick wants. She wraps her thighs around his no, face while he's eating thing. pussy. It's not like she's doing pull ups up and down while no, he's no, eating no. her body. She literally it's, has Chun Li thighs. Hold yeah. on, yeah. it has nothing to ripped. do with I know, her. You said it before. No she's thing. a freak. Uh, not even that. It's just like I kind of have low standards anyway. So mm-hmm. it's like she's like got a pretty face and a flaw, which is like her weird body and the fact right. that she's you know I don't know if that's a, a flaw. power plant that she grew up yeah. in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and she could fuck you up. She's yeah. gonna get like her fucking she could dumb. rape you. Uh, today I make another video, a video <laughs> blog for my fans out there. Please, uh, 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 thank you for watching. Do you guys like those videos where a woman? Uh, smashes a watermelon with her thighs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like those. There's one famous one where I really looked to see if the woman did any other kind of pornography and she had not. So She was a first time amateur. You know when you get like a booger she in your big mouth ass titties. that makes its way in there from your nose? And yeah, you know, yeah. Through your throat? That, no, like through, did you just blow them on No, you? no. Maybe it's just this dried shit on my mouth. Well, I know when I get it in my mouth because I'm eating it. Damn, Ugh. bodies are so gross. You know? They really are. It's Everybody's body, thing. like, you went, when you don't wipe for, like, weeks, and then you get, like, a dreadlock in your mm-hmm. ass. Yep. No one happens, I don't know about that. Everybody yeah, has no, that. Yeah. It's an experience we <laughs> all deal never with. never happened to me once. And then you, you I know, clean my ass pretty that good. That one love experience. Yep. 
when the I'm Bob the, Marley. Yeah, when I'm the fucking Zion lion in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Your and ass I'm is Rasta. Yeah. A lion. My turds come out and land Zion. on the seat <laughs> because of being <laughs> because of the hammock of dreaded hair <laughs> that is my ass crack. Your ass is homophobic <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the ultimate way to pre- prevent being fucked in the ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Dreadlock. Just in prison. And I'm yeah. like, I'm being bent over and they're like, we're gonna fuck this guy's ass. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, that's right, motherfucker. Dingleberry dreadlocks. I've never I've never wiped once. Ever in my life. Yeah, if we're ever gonna go to jail, that's the first thing we do. We stop wiping our asses. <laughs> do you remember in, in like middle very school? Very fibrous food. I, remember, I was like in a photography class in high school and this guy was like, I think I would fill my ass with concrete. And I remember <laughs> Laughing what? so hard at that guy's <laughs> head. He's like, I would just put concrete in my ass. I let him try in there. You can't. That's what we did to Icy to get her fixed. You filled her pussy with concrete? Yeah, cement. Rubber cement. Oh, so really? those doggy dicks, that lipstick Bounce just bounces back. off. Boing, yeah. boing, 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 boing. How about bongcrete? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you get high on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> is that what Boncrete is? Just I getting high it. on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's off that. Uh, Nick, you didn't tell the the fans. Oh, yeah, you're off that CBD, CBD baby. oil uh, oh. on account of my bad ticker. Okay, interesting. Yeah, he's trying to you are a little chilled out. I my see you. Chill out, no, I, I I didn't I didn't smoke any today. I just I, but you I haven't smoked it. You vape it? Yeah. My um, little brother was on that shit. Somebody gave me a pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are I like a CBD pen. Yeah. In Can you feel it? I can't really feel it. Uh, Where'd yeah, you get I it from? Feel, what's that? Where'd you get it from? Somebody had one already. I'm gonna buy one. No, I, I feel an, chilled an associate out. Associate of mine. I feel zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Gomez. Uh, no. And um, Louis just smokes blunts. Yeah, that's true. I, I can't imagine. I like, smoke eight blunts a day. <laughs> I don't understand people that like smoke weed, but then also do the CBD oil. It's yeah. like it bounces out. It well, he does it. Adderall too, so you can't really feel the weed that much. Yeah. Who Louis does? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm. I'm no, like, I need it for my damn heart. I'm trying to get my my blood pressure back in line. Is it good for blood pressure, CBD? Or is supposedly it just good that to and relax? dark chocolate. I'm gonna go get a nice little dark chocolate mm. bar after this, mm. and then uh, check my blood pressure. Go to the gym and see what it says. I went to the gym today. I t- I'm taking longer hot showers too. Ooh, hot Does showers. That lower it? It? Well, temporarily it'll lower your blood pressure, but raise your heart rate because when you heat yeah. the outside of your body, your blood vessels. Uh, Dilate and your heart rate increases and your blood pressure drops. Interesting, oh. but it might have like a rebound effect. Ooh, what's the, yeah. some other good fixes? So I feel cheating. Like I haven't checked in a while, but I'm guessing I have very high blood pressure because I've been yeah. eating like shit for the last two months. Well, Nick has an app. Yeah, I have an app on my app. Wait, how do you measure it? I got. A, I, bought, I went to the Apple Store and I got one of those like blood pressure. There's a monitor that goes on your arm. Whoa! And it fills up and then so it just this uses is Bluetooth to send <laughs> shit to your phone. So this has been a blessing. You get to get new tech. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, which you, get, you are reviewing on the podcast. So it's technically. Do you want a bionic heart? Well, how about this? It's a fucking medical expense because I there have you go. hypertension, yeah. so I can write it off. That. Can you get rid of medical shit? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Damn, any, all I medical didn't shit. Every, yeah, your yeah. tooth is is tax deductible. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't write anything off this year. I mean, you should let Patrick know that you had to get a series of surgeries. That's sh- for next year's taxes, sh- though. Yeah, it happened yeah. this year. <clears throat> Whatever. Damn, I gotta run off my medical expenses, like my penis shrinking surgery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay for that, though? Four million I thought that was dollars. Four million. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so fucking heavy and dense. Yeah, well, they had to bury all the all the extra fat. Yep. In the where they put all the Ground Zero trash <laughs> out in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck does your cock get fatter, man? It's unfair. Like, if you get fat? I've talked about this before, I yeah. think. But yeah. Why do titties get bigger when you're fatter? They get bigger. asses get bigger. Why don't dicks get bigger Tits when you get, get fatter? bigger in a shitty way, though. It's no, so not always. I love when, like, a yeah, fat girl yeah. is always like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, because I got these big boobs, and it's like, I mean, they're resting on your giant <laughs> stomach. <laughs> no. Yeah, you maybe technically have big tits. Well, here's the thing. I carry my weight. They're well. like small tits sitting on top of a man's breast. I used to have a, <laughs> a bus driver in middle school whose tits were so big, she was just literally driving a bus with her tits. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. Did Miss she V. Mol- she ever molest you? No, but she used to get really mad about roughhousing. <laughs> stop. <laughs> hey, stop putting your fingers in Adam's boy pussy. No, <laughs> that was not the kind of roughhousing we were Doing. You just have a note from your dad that says it's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Call it his ass. <laughs> I don't care if you finger him. 
<laughs> it's his man ass. <laughs> Call it his man's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you make him eat turds, call them turds, not shit dicks. Um, yeah, that my dad did do that. He said that. Yeah, that's something that he said. <laughs> 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 oh, oh fuck, dude. Sarah's texting me. Uh, Sarah Armour? Yeah. I just saw her yesterday on the show. Yeah, she said she wants to hang out, but I, like she wants to hang. I'm not a schedule guy. Yeah. I'm not a do things guy, you mm-hmm. know. You're certainly not. Especially even when we have, like, things to do. You don't schedule them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <We> just kind of... Got to kind of just all show up. <laughs> yeah. um, why don't you schedule me sucking your dad's dick? Mm-mm. That has to be spontaneous. Put it on the Google Cal. I will. <laughs> Didn't we have a shared Google Cal for a week or something? Yeah, it was kind of nice. Yeah, it was nice. We do have some stuff cooking. Actually, we've all persevered being lazy, and we might have some, some dates. Oh, yeah. In the fall, tease, guys. Live dates know? out in the... In the beautiful United States. So, so look out for that if you're in some of America's premier cities. largest about the cities. United States. Is it just shit? Bunch of, yeah, because yeah. this country is shit. Uh-oh. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> the Pooh KKK United States. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, that's dude. got a political message. I see that. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. You I mean, America with three Ks is the dumbest shit anyone's ever. Who come did? Up with. Ice, Cube. Ice Cube came up with that. Yeah, America. I mean, I'm sure he didn't come up with it, but yeah, that's like the dumbest. It's so stupid. I think the first time they they came up with it was pretty good. Probably. It's like the night is young. The first time someone said that, that must have been cool, dude. The night is young. The night is yeah, young. Yeah, cool. I'm, you must feel the first guy no. who said that. No, if I had never heard <laughs> that and someone said that to me, I would be boo. Yeah, yeah. No, that's because you don't yeah. like. You don't have a sense of. Remember, you don't dream to imagine. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. You don't have, <laughs> who said you don't, that? I did. You don't, <laughs> you don't dream. You don't, have, you don't have a sense of fucking. What do you do? You taxes in your dreams. It'd be great when they have like a fat statue of you outside an elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to dream to imagine <laughs> the Stavros Halkia school for kids that were too stupid to get into regular special. <laughs> education <laughs> no they have to be both fat and stupid yeah, thank you seven, very much seven periods of lunch right? <laughs> <laughs> one period of the teacher is drunk so we're gonna watch prices right that sounds fucking awesome dude yeah i'm about to fucking make a stavros halkis home for exceptional exceptionally fat the home for student. the criminally retarded <laughs> we criminally need to bring, re- we need to bring that term back illegal. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Joker! <laughs> You'll never get me, Batman. <laughs> You're never going to catch me. <laughs> get me out of this ball pit! <laughs> How do I get out of this maze? Oh, uh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> it's just a straight hallway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. He keeps slipping on fucking hundred grand wrappers. Mm-hmm. Joker has eaten. Mm-hmm. Damn, I really want another cup of coffee. So get it. Cup of Joe? I want, Tasha. I want a, a one cup of coffee. This oh, has been a rough... Right. This yeah, been how a rough how many day. days without coffee? Three days? Three days now. Damn. Wow. 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 Dasha. Only if you want Thank some. you, Dasha. Thank you, Dasha. Dasha. We're really sorry you have Adam in your life. Sorry you he have ma- to live in this beautiful brownstone. He makes you fucking do s- shit like this. Yeah, after I make you a beautiful dinner. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Give you beautiful kisses. Yeah, Adam and his little cookbook that he got. <laughs> yeah, time. the Miyazaki I'm cookbook. I'm still mastering Japanese home cooking. Are you? Yeah. It's on pause, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna by the end of this year I'm gonna be a master Japanese home no, chef. No, you're not. Yes, I am, dude. You've never mastered anything. Chef in your Morimoto life. said I could do it. You've never He's mastered, an and you never will master anything in your life. I've mastered some things. What's one thing you've mastered? Um, criminal manipulation. <laughs> um, I mastered What's uh, criminal manipulation. <laughs> like you, you keep a secret, yeah. you know? Don't tell your parents about. No, this. I can't keep secrets. That's the one yeah, thing. Yeah, that's I true. Do. Um, yeah, you'd be the guy molesting children, and then you tell everyone. And that's how <laughs> you get caught. You didn't hear it from me. Yeah. Speaking, <laughs> of secrets, <laughs> speaking of secrets, I know that there's a. Son of a famous person that listens to this podcast. And yeah. Who is I it? I just want to say, fuck you. Tag Romney. Yeah. <laughs> Tag the retard one? <laughs> no, no, that's, no, that's trig. trig. That's trig. Trigger Palin. Yeah. Trigger Palin, right? Yeah, I love Nigo that. Nigo Palin. 
<laughs> that one is really like <laughs> <laughs> that is not yeah yeah that one is like, <laughs> it's not technically close but it feels bad yeah, it feels it's wrong <laughs> yeah it feels pretty wrong I I didn't say it. I just it said, sounds like a guy I just with a speech said, impediment saying it. I said Nigo Mortensen, and then you decided what to do with that. That was Adam. I was, yeah, I, I was know. thinking like you know like an alternate universe Vigo Mortensen. Uh. It just has like a he's like a dark wing duck mm-hmm. Nega Duck character. Oh, ne- but that one Nega Duck is yeah, that's wild that's tough yeah. too. <laughs> Especially because I thought <laughs> I thought Dark Wing Duck was black. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So well, they can true. both be black. But this the implication isn't black. that they're different races. <laughs> it's that Nega Duck is a criminal and Darkwing Duck is a private investigator. Oh, like the Chris Rock bit. The classic. <laughs> yeah. 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 You got yeah. two ne- different okay. types. Like, uh-huh. You got Darkwing yeah. Ducks and Nega Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. and every time a Darkwing Duck <laughs> want to have a good time. They just target Nega Ducks, <laughs> show up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Now that bit makes sense to me. Now I have something to relate to to understand the comedy stylings of Chris Rock. I'm just annoyed that you're sitting here pretending like you watched Darkwing Duck when all of this is explained on the show. Um, yeah, I don't remember Darkwing Duck. I was sorry. I don't, re- I don't retain anything. I'm, I'm and Launchpad dead. was mentally retarded. Launchpad was Baloo in the, in the plane? No. No, Baloo is Baloo. Yeah. Launchpad is a different character. But he was like his co pilot or something? Wow. Launchpad McQuack, he's the pilot on Darkwing Duck. He's also yeah. the pilot on Tails or uh, uh, DuckTales. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was always a little offended that they chose to make Scrooge McDuck a Scottish person, not a Jewish okay. person. Yeah. Well, his name is McDuck. I know, but he should have, you know, he was swimming. He'd been Duckowitz. He was swimming. swimming Scrooge Duckowitz. Scrooge Duckberg. Yeah. <laughs> Scrooge. <laughs> Shmoolies, Shmooly, Shmooly Duckberg. Yeah. Oh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, my beautiful nephews. <laughs> He's such a strong boy. <laughs> Jeez, Uncle Scrooge, can we have a quarter? No! <laughs> Never! <laughs> you can have a job at my company, though, and we'll pretend like you earned it. An unpaid internship. Um. Yeah. Fuck tails. Yeah, dude. No dick. coffee's rough, man. It's hard to that sit sucks, here and dude. talk. I love for an it. Hour. Honestly, it is one of <laughs> the the pure joys of my life. I even had coffee too. I don't want to sound like Mark Marin, but I wake up pow in the morning and pow, I shat my pants. Pow, I just came in my pants. <laughs> pow. <laughs> Can we <have> coffee. What? <laughs> if- <laughs> What if uh, what Mark was that Maron, coffee called? Uh, just wish? just coffee. No, is that his. pow? I just yeah, that's Mark oh, Maron's one. Okay. But what if he so actually have... shits his pants? <laughs> then he has to go do an interview with Obama with his pants full so of true. turds. Remember so that what S- if <laughs> that so SNL true. sketch? Uh, Oops, I crap my pants. Yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. That was such a good sketch. <laughs> yeah. That was when SNL was yeah, doing yeah. the real pure stuff. Let's imagine that this diaper is your diaper, and uh, this gallon of iced tea is a gallon of your feces. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, the commercials in the '90s that they did were awesome. Yeah, the one, the one where Will Ferrell was just mean to dogs. It was like a dog mm-hmm. training thing where he was just like verbally abusing dogs. I just remember Robert Goulet, and he says the N word as Robert Goulet. Oh yeah, he sketch. says it. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah. he does uh, a bit, uh, pa- Papa, I love it when you call me big, oh, oh, yeah. Papa. Yeah, he just put your hands in the air. Yeah, and then yeah, he people says used to know how to have fun. <laughs> yeah, before all these woke characters got online. So true. Schlitz gay comedy. beer. That was might be my favorite. That was incredible. That was so fucking good. Yeah. Um, and then that was like I think probably the first time for a lot of boys in our generation that were like, is Remember that Gap, does that Gap Fat? Fun? Yeah, Gap Fat. <laughs> yes. Gap Fat was so that funny. That was great too. Mm. Oh man. What about the what was that ball that had like a hundred like uh the horrible side effects? That shit was awesome too. Uh, the Wonder Ball? Yeah, 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 yeah. And just like it was such a quick commercial that they just have like Nick's new thing is stabbing me with knives. You were doing that at dinner the other night. Yeah. <laughs> You're like making a point by like stabbing me in the arm. <laughs> How was dinner, boys? I'm sorry I was in a story. I no, you, make were it. you were there. At pizza. You day. ate oh, all yeah. of the pizza. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. No, Nick no, just, just came, came over, over to hang. Yeah. 
I made, a, I, was, I made I was, a spaghetti I've been bolognese. Kind of stir crazy. Sat in my apartment all night playing Danny Boy on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Just to think of you alone, Nick. Fucking playing, high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> playing, Danny <Boy. laughs> playing Danny Boy. That is so funny. Cat. <laughs> The pipes, the yeah, pipes the, are playing. <laughs> the things that happen when I spend too much time alone. Are <laughs> pretty funny. Well, you were sending us clips of HBO softcore <laughs> ports. <laughs> alone. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> that clip was very funny. Yeah, the yeah, way he was simulating see, sex from behind. So low. Yeah, yeah. You sit around watching softcore porn, playing Danny Boy. <laughs> You know, having a night with your high blood We got to get the band together, finally, dude. I know oh, yeah. I've been out of town, but Nick and I did buy $1,000 of music Oh, equipment. yeah, yeah, you guys did. We do have to sort of... <laughs> I, gotta buy, I wanna buy a really expensive tambourine. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be the sexy tambourine I might get a I might get a real a real piano when Amber moves out. Oh, that in the living room. baby yeah. grand. You can actually get them for free yeah. on Craigslist all the time because people don't want to move them, so you just hire piano movers Yeah, because it like costs money to move How a piano in New York City. Um, Jonah Probably brought a shit. piano into his his apartment. I think he got two guys. Could we do it? Um, Could we has, do it ourselves? He's in a walk up. Uh, he, he said it was like three dudes, and they they pretty much finessed it up the stairs one stair at a time. We could do and that. Then I think one of them threw up after. I've been going. No, I mean I had to bring that oven up the stairs, and that was you didn't help at all. I did help. Yeah, was, Adam did nothing. Really Adam did absolutely nothing. Max helped, and I, I was, brought the, I was the backup. Up, another oven up to the third floor a couple months ago, and that was but it was a light. Bo- it was an easy. No, bake it was also like an it was an easy a bake a oven steel, that you had no, to like put in your ass. Yeah. <laughs> and his boy pussy. And that's not true. <laughs> it did look fun that girls got to bake. <laughs> it did. I'm gonna say that. that not for boys that had that that like. I remember it was like it was like science experiments. Yeah, where they yeah. make the bugs. You make bugs. Remember that? What but was they're it? like gummy bugs. Yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. gummy bugs. Yeah. It was like a mad scientist. I yeah, did want an easy that looks fun. Yeah, I had a little cook. I had a little cooking set as an infant. Like as a one year old, they got me like little Fisher Price cooking shit. Yeah, that was my. And then you ate it, shit, dude. Yeah, That's and then so I ate all the plastic. Like, people. He's going to be fat. <laughs> 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 we already know. We he can tell by his calves. We're raising him fat. Look how sad your dog looks. My dog has depression. Yeah. <laughs> she knows its owner is a bitch. No, she has depression because she was. <laughs> she wants she was an alpha. And she, she wants an alpha to no, look up to. No, she and knows I'm nothing. an alpha pack leader. She knows. Absolutely she not. Re- respects me as an alpha pack she leader. She does not. She does. She's sad. That she you're does. Her you know how I did it? I showed her a gun the first day I had her, <laughs> and I pointed it right towards her dog pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I said. We were watching The Sopranos last night when Nick came over the episode where they find out Vito's gay. Yeah. Oh, what a fuck! And yeah. Paulie says, uh, he, Paulie says, uh, I'm going to stick my gun right up. <laughs> he said, uh, he, basically, Paulie said that what he wanted to do was put a gun in Vito's ass. <laughs> Which is that gay. would, that would treat, that would. <laughs> I just love the way Vito's dressed at the club. He looks like awesome. Gario. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, Gario, he is, Gario is gay Wario. <laughs> Not Vito. gay Mario. no. 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 Vito as the leather daddy. Dario replaces Wario mm-hmm. as yeah. gay Mario. Because really the opposite of Mario. Mario's whole thing is like fucking some princess. Loves, yeah, he loves that prince puss- Whereas puss- Gario wants to fuck a queen. You know what I mean? <laughs> he is a queen. And he wants yeah, to fuck yeah, he wants to fuck a queen in the club. So he's got a, like a little leather daddy <laughs> outfit. Mostly looks exactly the same as Wario. Except yeah. his hat's made out of leather. Wario is gay. Also. Yeah, it's yeah. just <laughs> Wario. <laughs> it's Wario when he's not on the clock. <laughs> yeah, Wario's... Yeah. You know him and Waluigi fuck. Of mm-hmm. course. We're vilifying homosexuals, you know. Because they really are like the gay body type versions of Mario and Luigi. Well, their body types they're are the twinkier. same. They're twinkier. No, no. Luigi, no, no. Wario is way twinkier than Luigi. Luigi is He's more smaller. stout. Yeah, yeah. And Wario is fatter and rounder and not. Like, Mario is like me. Uh, a stout, athletic, no, fat man. No, no, I don't know. Mario's and Wario is an obese mess. Whereas me and Mario are that like would strong, be good. You stout guys. This year? Halloween? Eldest, Eldest could never be Luigi. Why not? He's taller than you? No. He's, he's more too, agile? He's too fat to be Luigi. No, he's Luigi. He's too fat to be Luigi. No, no if you guys like a, did Mario like and Luigi, it'd be so Luigi. cute. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, If, if you guys did Wario and Waluigi... I know, I know what you're saying. No, he's Man, too fat. Man, we have this conversation a lot on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably... Be, yeah. Me and Eldest being Our different kinds of things. <laughs> that one is fat and short and one is tall. <laughs> We've done... We did the, the M&M's. The M&M's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's probably a few more. What else? <laughs> uh, Abbott and Costello. Sure. 
That's a good. Mm-hmm. But what's, what's fat and what's a tall, but and then less fat but still fat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's nothing that really nails except yeah. the M&M's. So like a, man. The M&M's how about really like a magic eight ball and a lava lamp? Okay. Yeah. 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 Actually, I don't think he's kind of shaped like a lava. Lamp. He is. He's got a lava oh, yeah. lamp body. <laughs> yeah. oh, I yeah. imagine his internals are similar looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, he's a, a green kava, guy. Right a kava red. lamp. Bright red from all the fucking. Cheetos. Oh, people are really mad at you, Stav, for saying Andre the Giant was alive during World War One. Did you Listen, say that? I've yeah. I've made on a lot show? of mistakes yeah. on this show. So when? Hey, guess what? Suck my fucking dick. I don't give a fuck what Andre the Giant was born. Yeah. Uh, first of all, fucking nerds. Facts are just things that I say. Yeah, yeah. it's true. It's not that r- real events as you believe them to have happened. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, also, the, I'm the journalist. You are the fucking peon. Hey, how about this? I'm doubling down. He was fucking born during World War One. Stuck my dick. yeah in France. In France, in some a author, some author would drive him to school. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, that is true. <laughs> That's what I'm basing this off of. I read some fucking Facebook article. Yeah. It's like you'll never believe who drove Andre the Giant to school. Doctor <laughs> Seuss. <laughs> it was someone. I don't know. Doctor Shaw. Raul Dahl. It was Roald Dahl. Yeah, he drove him in a big ass peach. What a dumbass name! That Roald Dahl autobiography where he talks about losing half his nose in a car accident. No, no. it's intense. I He's British, right? Reading as a kid, yeah, and then maybe maybe I'm like confusing different stories. It might have been mm-hmm. the Andre the Giant autobiography. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, he like describes his like sister driving in a car, and the back they used to have like plate glass for the mm-hmm. windshield. So, oh like, damn. She hit something. There's no seatbelts. He went through the windshield and it fucking sliced ah, his goddamn nose ah, off his face. Fuck. So it's just hanging on by a thread of ah, skin. Ah, fuck my... Are you fucking kidding? Yeah. And I'm he like, has to look at his nose dangle? Yeah, just like as a child reading that. It was like so intense. Fuck. I remember, I think there was something else in there about a guy breaking his arm and back then like they couldn't set it. So like they just had a strong man like rip mm-hmm. his arm off. Oh, or, or maybe they had a strong man pull, like, pull on the compound fracture until the doctor could <gasps> reset it. Oof. Jesus Christ, dude. And again, I don't remember if this was actually in the book or these no. were just things I imagined. I don't think any child. of this happened, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these scenarios I came up with while drawing swastikas in my textbooks. <laughs> were you a swastika kid? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Every fucking I mean, book. I was definitely a, a dick kid for I sure. I was swastika kid for sure. I mm-hmm. threw, I, I, I drew dicks in yeah. every. Everybody's textbook. drawing that S thing. I'm like, check out this S thing. Yep. It's yeah, even it better. S thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You put two of them together. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm, Dasha I'm, drew a swastika at Bed Bath & Beyond yesterday. That's yeah, fun. that's what yep. Beyond stands for. White, white <laughs> a nationalism. Yeah, a beautiful, idyllic society with no fucking... Oh, man, I've been getting back into... I, I, lo- I went looking for it uh, like a month ago, and I couldn't find it. Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction, hosted by originally James Brolin and then Jonathan Frakes. I don't remember this. Was that a show? It was a show that was on, and I couldn't find it. And mm-hmm. then I found it like two Brolin weeks ago. Brolin hosted it? J- uh, James Brolin. Who's James Brolin? Josh Brolin's dad. Yeah, Barbara oh, Streisand's oh, husband. Yeah. Double A, you know, he beep, beep, was supposed MCO. to be. He was supposed to be No Country for Old Men. It was supposed to be him. Because it makes way more sense. It's old men. You know? But Lewin it, they accidentally, as Llewellyn? They accidentally sent it to his son. It was like a fucking error. No way. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. This Damn. is something this someone is also told me in the Andre time. the Giant book. Yeah, I read it in the oh, Andre yeah, the Giant book. Oh, yeah, I just looked it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Samuel Beckett used to drive him to school. <laughs> See? Yeah, that yeah. is who it was. You're right. Yeah, motherfucker. Damn, Sam Shepard drove Hulk Hogan to school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. Vichy, France. <laughs> they were both collaborators. <laughs> they were both <laughs> very anti Vichy, France is so funny that they were like, they, they found like, they were, that was like the Waluigi of France. They were like, oh yeah, we, we're just like the Nazi French people. Yeah, yeah we're also yeah. gay. We're yeah. still gay. We love the outfits. Oh no, that's German. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good bit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gay man who likes uh, uh, Nazis, but then not the Jews. <laughs> Where did? Never mind. This, Go ahead. No, this, no, no, no. Uh, no I don't know good. why I was gonna say. Uh, I don't know why I was gonna ask this what, question. What do you want? What do you Where did now, Charles Nick? de Gaulle go? Like when the Nazis took over France? His baby mama's crib. He went to England, Algeria. He went to North Africa? He went to Algeria and <laughs> fucked around with some, yeah. some Hell dark yeah. ass nipples. No, yeah, them hurt. Yeah. Roll call. <laughs> <laughs> Get information. Yeah, yeah. Where them dark nip babies at? Yeah. Let me. Because then he came back after the war, right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought he, he had was, to, wasn't he just in a different part of he had France? To, when you, when you, I thought they, 
the Nazis took over all of France. If you're the generalissimo of France and you lose, he has to remove his little uh, bean can hat and and hand the turd that rests on his head over <laughs> to the invading leader, which is the greatest shame in Jesus France to lose your turd that your you turd keep on your hat. Yeah. <laughs> this turd has been passed on to me. You have a, a little a little furry toy poodle take a dump on their head, <laughs> and when they first get their you know uh, uh, commission into the army, the yeah. French army, mm, yes. And if you ever lose that turd. You know what happens? That's it for you. It's curtains, you? baby. Oh fuck! Mm. Yeah, they kill you. Mm-hmm. It's like at the REF; they have mustaches. Mm-hmm. In the, the REF, Air Force? the Royal, Royal English Air Force. Air Force? Yeah. That's how they, all those guys back. They all had like big ass mustaches. Yeah, yeah. You join like the REF or whatever, dude. We could be grow. in the uh, in that right now because yeah. all three of us. Have sick ass mustache. Yeah, right it's right. mustache season for me. I'm I decided. found that picture when I let my mustache get huge as shit. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm jealous. I'm I like, have the worst facial hair of all time, but I got a little less mustache. No, I kind of like it. how little your mustache yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. really balances out your face. Yeah, yeah. my also like your glasses. You look, like that, you look like that drawing must, of Downs Jones. My that strong guy jaw. No, <laughs> yeah, it does. Your jaw is literally beautiful. It just had part of it removed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it. yeah, it was too strong. It was, was, too the, it was overgrowing. Yeah. That's how fucking masculine <laughs> yeah. my jaw was. Yeah. They were like, your fucking shit is too chiseled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got to take a little breasts. tutor. That's how yeah. masculine. <laughs> yeah, that's why Lando. I love titty so much. I was growing a little titty in my jaw, dude. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Lando was thought of as super masculine. Oh, right? yeah. Just a sexy motherfucker. Just that chin. That gi- giant chin. That giant Every chin. Every bitch wanted to get chinned down by Leno. I can't believe... When, like, Put your chin in my pussy, like, daddy. Do you think Leno's got topped off a lot? Yeah, I'm sure he fucked. In the 70s? Although he seems like a fucking loser. I don't know. Do you think he fucks cars like that guy from TLC? Yes, he does. He puts the exhaust pipe in his ass. Chase and I are in a sexual relationship. The guy with the little bear hat? The guy that's that was fucking his car, Chase. There's a lot and of, and a yes, lot it of is homosexual. Guys. Somebody sent me this thing. <laughs> Apparently people... Uh, uh, I don't know. Sarah's sending me weird messages. So don't fucking look, dude. Uh, You're on the clock, man. I know I'm on the clock, but she's don't texting me while now. I'm trying to look up shit related to the show. Uh. Somebody sent me, uh, I guess there's like a weird deviant art thing where people draw pictures of dragons fucking cars. Oh, that's pretty tight. Whoa, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What co- like where does their dick go? Where does their dragon dick go? Um, I don't know. In between the seats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like change. Does it have a dragon pussy in the car? Yeah, that's I don't, cool. I don't know. I mean, I didn't really look into it. I just thought I'd say it. Mm-hmm. That'd be a cool thing to put on a, a shirt. dragon pussy in your car. A dragon fucking a car. <clears throat> have you guys seen that one video on the internet of the uh, where they put a pocket pussy on an exhaust pipe <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and it looks awesome? Don't draw on my phone. I'm drawing exhaust. Why are you <laughs> drawing? <laughs> <laughs> they just drew they a just... swastika on my phone. I'll leave it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I'll leave it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 middle school good. baby. People, <laughs> Take a picture. Of this way. is pretty funny. <laughs> I was, re- I really hated yeah, yeah. swastika. Like, I was not a big fan of Nazis. Well, no, because swastikas was like you hated swastikas. I was because Greek because they taught us that Nazis really fucked up. I didn't care about Jews. Uh, they, see, school, they taught us. Well, that that's Nazis what they taught good. Jews. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. I just had like a really different upbringing where I and I was told that Nazis were bad. <laughs> no, no, it's like Especially. when you hear a word is a bad word, and then you go to your bedroom and then you say it alone so you can feel like you're doing something bad. Well, Nazis That's never what, like drawing a swastika. Nazis is. never came to America though. They really fucked our asses in Greece. Yeah, they're bad. They fucking came through. They really fucked shit up. So did so did the CIA, brother. That's true. They did. Yeah, they fucked up our fucking democratically elected socialist. socialist. Prime Minister, hell, and, you're and back to fucking uh, military coup, a, jun- junta. a junta, the junta, a junta. and they La fucked, quinta? they fucked Greece up. We should have a junta on this show. Where my I man was trying to generalissimo. Yeah, you can never. take over. You're not strong enough. I don't I give a shit. A I'm ready to retire, anyways, baby. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to? to be like you know, sort of the coach of the show. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah Emeritus, yeah. Professor yeah, Emeritus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fuck, you, know, you got tenure. I'm, I'm like a cut man. You know, I'm mm-hmm. in the corner. Yeah, you know? mm-hmm. yep. I can't, I can't get in the ring anymore. Say gook. 
Just whispering in her ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta say gook to him, kid. <laughs> you gotta say gook into the mic. <laughs> Listen to me, kid. You got eight more I rounds don't here. Think I can do it. You got you got twelve I more can't rounds say here. Any slur. You gotta say Nigo Mortensen, kid. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. Man. Look, they're coming they're about to turn Can the show I off. Just talk about it's gonna be my dad's cock. It's man. gonna be lights out for you, kid, unless you fucking get in there <laughs> and you say Nigo. Nigo Morton. What if I do a Rihanna song, but it's about sucking dick? That's also good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck it. I don't know why I'm telling you. You seem to have a pretty good grasp of what works here. <laughs> we suck dick in a homeless place. In a ho- holy place. In a, yeah. in a yeah. hole. Yeah, yeah. Hole full place. I fuck. I fuck my dad in a hopeless place. I fuck my dad, I suck my dad and I fucked his ass. I held him down and I fucked his ass. The one I like to do is, uh, ooh, nah, nah. Whoops, I'm gay. (laughs) 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 Whoops, I'm gay. (laughs) Whoops, I'm gay. That that one gets me. Fuck, I was doing a really good one earlier today in my house, but I forgot it. Yeah. I got the Mortal Kombat one. Oh, that's it. Suck a penis. (laughs) I'm a a (laughs) faggot. There's so many you can throw in there. I'm a gay guy. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sonia, Johnny Cage, Raiden, that is Dobbs. <laughs> the Mortal Kombat song is like prob- Richard Simmons. <laughs> it's probably Richard the- Spencer, <laughs> Martin Shkreli, <laughs> Sam, Hyde, Pepe, Brendan Wardell. <laughs> I'm a faggot. I'm a faggot. Okay. Um, the Mortal Kombat song has to be like the best example of hard style techno. Like that has to be like the most true famous that, yeah. hard style techno song of all time. Mm-hmm. You know what uh my friend told me the other day the the uh, so the song that's considered to be the best example of world music Darude Sandstorm is no is the uh Halo uh load screen music. The oh <laughs> yeah, that, that thing apparently is that song's considered good. No, yeah. the best song, that song ever. is good, man. The best I'm song serious. ever. I like that shit. <laughs> Somali, <laughs> Somali folk song from Black Hawk, Black Hawk Down. Down. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the best song in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Sizemore is just yeah, yeah, like yeah. murdering people. Just a silent chopper slowly <laughs> rotating in the background <laughs> as all your friends die. <laughs> Do you remember when Sting? I love did when the that? guys at the bodega sing along to those songs. <laughs> yes, the guy's dude. like 350, brother. Hi, I'm a He's like, what the fuck is going on? You just have a stroke. <laughs> but this is what is this song? What are the lyrics? Do you remember the Sting song, Desert Rose? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I dream of rain, yeah, lay, you remember A Rab Money by Busta Rhymes? Oh hell yeah. yeah. Of course. Ooh, I'll get that Arab money. <laughs> How do me, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is not the same, but Punjabi MC. That was another. Oh yeah, yeah. Hit me at the boogie with the ball again. Like he's like my fucking little penis. Cause I'm fucking gay. And then um, the uh, w- what's that other one? The fuck, I forget. It. Come yeah. on. All right. Well, that's the end of the show. Okay. Good night. Uh, should we plug anything? No, nah, nothing to plug. Next oh. Money Moms is the 9th of April. Oh, yeah, We're going to plug it for early. Coming. Thanks for it. And thanks the, for we out. changed the time the day of, and we everyone. Got Nikki Glazer for the next one. Is Nikki Glazer's really? on the next yeah, yeah. one. I think someone else. Oh, we got a full female show then. Yeah. We got oh. a Parna, Nikki Glazer, don't and tell, Kate. Don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> we want people to come out. <laughs> Three of the best comics. We're doing lady comedy. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So that's going to be a fucking great show then. Uh, Aparna, uh, Nikki Glazer, Kate Willett, really good comics. And then actually, the next one, it's gay guys. We got Tim Dillon and Mateo. So actually, yeah. it's gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam will be there also. And then and then we're gonna do. So we're actually woke. We're gonna do. Uh, yeah, we are woke. All right, you guys are fun. Thank you. Good night. We are woke. All right, you guys are fun. Thank you. Good night. We are woke. All right, you guys are fun. Thank you. Good night. We are woke. All right, you guys are fun. Thank you. Good night. We are woke. All right, you guys are fun. Thank you. Good night. We are woke. All right, you guys are fun. Thank you. Good night. We are woke. All right, you guys are fun. Thank you. Good night.